Okay, so Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 has been released and it's been already two days. Throughout the last two days, I had my own share of pain with the game, some with the drivers and some other stuff with some other thing within the game or within my system. But the biggest thing that I still have noticed and it remained unchanged, in fact, I would rather say it has increased in a way, it is about the matchmaking interface. Well, it is pretty much evident and similar to all of the Call of Duties that I have played so far in previously, let's say about the 2019 Modern Warfare or be the Warzone. Having said about those games that those games still had a pretty much more efficient and uh, smoother experience while matchmaking but when i looked for modern warfare 2 when i click on start game every now and then when i'm looking for a new lobby to start a match there is a huge stutter on the lobby screen well if i'm lucky the game wouldn't be having any issues at that point of matchmaking that is very rare one out of 100 percent and at times i even saw animations freezing for a while and this is frequent the animation freeze things are frequent your characters would just get intermingled with other players characters and you would not be able to see your own characters on the lobby screen now that is not something should be always considered or worried about but it does looks pathetic on its own so i just don't know why this has never been fixed or even if there is any way to be fixed uh, no to fix this i tried all level best ways from my end lowering my graphics checking all the internet connections my internet connection works fine the network is open i'm not on a not playing on a restricted network neither there is any restrictions in my antivirus for the game but despite of that the lobby matchmaking process seems to have this very stucky kind of a feeling when it starts to find a lobby and the, another funny thing about this when you are on a particular region when it is supposed to make you a uh, match with people from different regions but at times it starts from the lowest ping and climbs to the highest ping of the lobby available vacant at that point of time when you are trying to match them um, uh, make a match beside all that if that was not enough then i noticed one more thing that you would be abruptly thrown out of a ongoing lobby that is in process you are looking for a lobby and you just got connected and the game started to load for a while the animation started the game is all about to begin and boom you are gone i mean you are again on the ui on the on the beginning screen of the game the main menu in fact where you had to click and start the match again beside all that if that was not enough i'm i'm attaching a clip here right now I don't know what what was that all about the game suddenly froze not froze practically it was behaving weirdly the the ping at that point of time suddenly climbed up somewhere around 200 or 300 i managed to get get it recorded for a while it, it did happen for multiple times within that session eventually it kicked me off saying there was a connection timeout so this was all what i have uh, encountered in last two days, many of the people playing from different regions, uh, I don't know if they have faced the same issues or not, but this is what I have been faced uh, facing. Beside all that, there was also compatibility issues with the recent NVIDIA driver. I downgraded the driver just to make sure I had more of a stable ping, uh, not a stable ping, but rather a FPS. So just to check if that is something wrong with my drivers as well. Few things are fixed by downgrading the drivers, but still the ping and the connection of different maps getting into different lobbies remains an issue different maps would also not have a similar kind of stable ping despite being you are from the same region or maybe you are playing on the same lobby it would give you a different pings so i did found find out that there is a huge huge factor about ping in terms of giving you a good fps as well i agree that your your machine has to support that amount to give you a high amount of fps but there is also a huge significant role to play about the right so this is what i noticed and i don't know how how this can be fixed and i was so excited about playing uh, call of duty modern warfare 2 more frequently but with all these instances happening i'm quite in a dilemma right now that what am i supposed to do next